Hey Melody viewers, this is Bryce, your host, and today we're going to talk about taking this Epiphone Wildcat and turning it into an Epiphone Super Wildcat. It's a multi-part series where we'll be upgrading the pickups um, as well as the Bigsby Bridge. Uh, for the episode one, the first thing we'll be focusing on is the Bigsby, and then later episodes we'll be rewiring it, replacing the pickups with these new Lawler P90 pickups, um, and replacing all the wiring you see with a uh, blend wiring. So this pod actually now will blend the two pickups um, as opposed to just switching between the two. So you can switch still, but you can also blend it uh, as you want. So let's jump right into the video and talk through how we upgrade uh, the Bigsby bridge. So first let's talk about what the problem is. Here I'm pointing out the fact that that break angle on the Bigsby is just, it's just way too aggressive. Um, one of the challenges with having it be this steep of a break angle is that it uh, gets out of tune pretty easily, as well as I break a lot more strings. I find that uh, with this new Briggs Bigs Bricks Bigs fix, it raises up um, the the roller there on the Bigsby, and it reduces that break angle. You'll see at the end. Um, it's it's a great upgrade. It's pretty cheap. I'll post links into the description on where you can find it. We'll also be doing an upgrade to the spring. Uh, so yeah, you can see in this photo right here or this, this video, what's happening is that it's, it's just a really steep angle. Um, and so by reducing that angle, it's going to help it stay in tune better. And it's also going to, uh, reduce the number of strings you might break. So let's, uh, keep going. So the first thing you want to do is you want to unscrew the Bigsby from the guitar. Actually, even before that, you want to, uh, you want to loosen up all of your strings. I prefer to leave it on because that keeps uh, the Bigsby from uh, hitting back into the guitar. So the strings actually give it a little bit of bounce. These are actually brand new spring, uh, strings that I put onto the guitar, so I'll be reusing them later. So just unscrew both screws. There's two of them. And once they're unscrewed, you'll see it lift up a little bit. What's important is that you, you keep these screws because you're gonna be reusing them. And then you're going to lift it up just a little bit. I prefer to put like a little hand towel or something underneath it so it doesn't scratch the finish of the guitar as you're working on it. Uh, you'll be moving it up and down a little bit as you're trying to remove the old uh, Bigsby roller and, and replace it. So one note, you don't need a lot of tools for this, basically a screwdriver and the kit. If you plan on ever switching back from the Brooks Bigs Fix, the what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take that uh, retaining clip and I'm just going to bend it completely apart uh, and it'll be real easy to take off. If you plan on actually reusing yours or replacing it or swapping it back in, there are a tool, there are tools and I'll put it in the description that are actually used. It's like the opposite of a pliers. It'll separate out that retaining clip and allow you to take it off without destroying it. You can also just do what I did destroy it and then buy a new one. They're very cheap. I'll post in the description where you can find more of these retaining clips, but you only need to take off the one so that you can slide it out. So let's keep going. You can see I'm, I'm getting a paper clip in here because I, I was trying to keep it to tools that could are readily available for most folks and not have to go buy a special tool just to remove it. And then again, a pair of pliers, you'll see me pull it apart and that actually releases it. Here's the other side. And you basically, you just push it through, it slides right out. Like I said, you only need that one retaining clip removed and then you pull out that middle pin and then the roller itself. And then these, these shims that I removed. In this case, what I'm, I'm doing here is I'm actually replacing the spring. The one that comes with the guitar by default on the Bigsby's is pretty stiff. Um, so there's a lot of flex on the body when you try to uh, use the whammy bar and it's just, not a lot of, it's not very comfortable to play. So um, he also sells a spring that's a bit, a little bigger, but more springy. Um, and it's just a better playing experience overall. So here you can see me, I put it in slow-mo so that you can actually see me apply it, but pretty easy. Just lift it up while you have the, have it off and put it on. Next, we'll be adding in the bushings with the new uh, Bricks Bigs Fix. You wanna do it from the inside of the Bigsby and push it out. So it's basically flush with the um, with the Bigsby bridge there. And you can see me <laughs> fumble getting it in, but they're actually pretty easy to get once you line up and aren't holding a camera. 
And then basically it's from here, you're just attaching the two screws. Um, just like with most things uh, mechanical like this, the best thing to do is uh, get them initially screwed in, but not tight. And then tighten it up, uh, switching between sides. This way you're not putting a bunch of pressure on one side and not the other. So you can see me switching back and forth here, uh, tighten up one side and you wanna try to keep it as high as possible. And then I'll tighten up the other side. It's a little bit loose now. Um, then I'll get it perfectly vertical before I uh, clamp it down. And you can clamp pretty hard on these screws because the, the bridge itself actually, or not the bridge, but the, uh, the roller actually turns. So it's not a big deal there. Now I'm just putting the strings back on. You don't have to do this. I just chose to do it. Um, and then I'm gonna screw back in the, the Bigsby. So like I said, you can go, you can screw these in, but you don't wanna screw them tight on one side until you've got the other um, screwed in at least most of the way. And then you'll just basically alternate back and forth, tightening it up until it's fully screwed in. So here I'm doing the other side. And then uh, now that I've got the other side already started, I can go, most of the way tight here, and then I can tighten up the other side. And now it's gonna be pretty tight and ready to go. Coming back, finalizing the, uh, the tightness on the screws, making sure you don't over tighten it, but also you don't wanna leave it loose. And then here's the, the last shot, and you can see how much uh, shallower or less steep that brake angle is. It's, it's much better. It's just a little bit, keeps the strings on the bridge, um, without having that severe sort of V shape that you get with the uh, traditional Bigsby. So hopefully you enjoyed this. It's a pretty uh, quick mod to do. I find it, I do it with every Bigsby that I get. It's uh, super fast, easy to do. You don't need very many tools. Um, and then you can of course always uh, swap back in the old roller if you want to. And then that spring just makes a better playing experience. So uh, looking forward to episode two, where we actually jump in and start replacing all of the electronics in this guitar. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like the video if you uh, enjoyed the content. Thanks.